Atoms are made up of three types of particles, protons, neutrons, and electrons. The protons and neutrons are clustered together in the center of the atom in a space that we call the nucleus. In the nucleus, we see the protons and neutrons being in direct contact with each other. I'm going to use two different colors here to represent the protons and neutrons, but it doesn't matter which is which. So these particles are in direct contact with each other, but not in any particular type of arrangement. So they're collected sort of haphazardly, um, not in an order. There is typically a pretty even ratio of protons to neutrons. It's not necessarily one to one, but it's usually roughly the same number of protons as neutrons. And again, they're just sort of clustered together in this spherical shape in the center of the nucleus. The electrons are not in contact with each other. They're not clustered together. They're also not in contact with the nucleus. So they're just hanging out in this area of space outside of the atom. And this area of space we refer to as the electron cloud. A lot of times you'll see kind of like a boundary or an outline drawn to indicate the, the location of the electrons or the cloud. But I kind of don't like to do that because drawing that boundary implies that there is an outer edge to the atom. It makes it seem kind of like it's a, a basketball where it has like an exterior. And then we know that an atom isn't like that. The atom itself is a lot like a cloud. It just doesn't really have a definite edge to it or a boundary. So I'm going to leave that perimeter off and we're just going to have these electrons drawn in here to show that they are occupying this area of space around the nucleus. Protons and electrons are charged particles. The proton has a charge of plus one and the electron has a charge of minus one. And in all atoms, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons. So these charges balance each other out or cancel each other out. Every positively charged proton is balanced by a negatively charged electron. I know in this drawing that I made up here, I made a lot of electrons and I did not make that many protons, um, but this ignore, ignore that aspect of my drawing. So in an atom, the number of protons is equal to the number of electrons, and the atom itself um, does not have any sort of net charge or overall charge because all of the positive and negative charges are in balance. We do see that sometimes atoms lose electrons or gain electrons, which causes the protons to outnumber or be outnumbered by electrons, which results in a charged particle, which we'll talk about that later on. Neutrons, on the other hand, have no charge. They're just neutral. Protons and neutrons are significantly heavier than electrons. The mass of an electron is about one two thousandth of the size of a proton or a neutron. So it takes 2,000 electrons to add up to the mass of one single proton or one single neutron. And no atom has 2,000 electrons. That's, that's a ton. Um, they don't even have 200 electrons in them. So for the mass of an atom, the mass of the atom comes essentially from the mass of the protons and neutrons. And when we're determining the mass of an atom, we typically ignore the mass of an electron because it really doesn't contribute anything significant to the mass overall. Protons and neutrons are roughly the same size. They're relatively equal in weight to each other. The protons, neutrons, and electrons are all um, abbreviated because we, we talk about them quite a bit. So rather than having to write their names out all the time, the proton is abbreviated with a lowercase p with a plus in the superscript which should make sense, uh, P for proton and plus to indicate its charge. The neutron is abbreviated a lowercase n with a zero superscript. The zero is to indicate that it is a neutral particle without a charge. And the electron is a lowercase e with, you guessed it, a negative charge, negative sign in the superscript. 
And so this is, this is really just sort of a, a overview, a generalization of the structure of the atom. And in the next few videos, we're going to get into quite a bit more detail, including a, a better description of the location of the electrons in the cloud.